All right, welcome back YouTube. Um, I had a lot of people ask me uh, from you know, at work and uh, people from my sh my channel asking me, you know, what do you fish out of? Well, today I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. Um, I fished out of John Bowes. I actually have a bass boat too, another side of the house. But my favorite thing to fish out of is this. This is my Old Town Sportsman 106 Power Bar Minkota. And this is my setup. This is my setup. I have a Garmin Fish Finder as well. And I had a few little upgrades that I've done on my own. Uh, I recently added a uh, cell phone charger here because I'm, I'm like most people. You can never find my phone charger and I almost always end up in the water with a dead phone. So to prevent that from happening anymore, I went ahead and made myself a phone charger. Um, got this little bag off of Amazon for like my, my quick little essentials and so on like that. Um, stuff that I, you know, my pliers and stuff like that, whatever that I, I need to get handy real quick. No, like, like digging in the box. Of course, I got the Rapala. Uh, fish scale here it works decent this one has some issues so i wouldn't recommend buying it but this is one that i have um i got another little item here i got a cooler bag this came off amazon i believe it was like 50 60 bucks i got it for father's day um <clears throat> i also have a cooler here just a straight small cooler fits perfect here this is actually by who was this magellan i think i got this out of academy I want to say it was like 40 50 bucks as well. Added another um, rod holder on here. It actually comes with two. Well, actually three. One here, one on the opposite side, and then one forward facing one. This one works well, you know, when you handle the fish and stick your pole in the rod holder real quick. That one actually works really well. But I added this one on here for catfishing. You know, I have a pole up here in the front or oh, in the back. And then one up here in the front, possibly one here as well. And maybe one on the other side, it just depends. Um, for recording here, I actually made this one right here. If you can tell, if you've been injured like me like multiple times, you probably can kind of figure out what this is. This is actually uh, came off of a, uh, um, a, a crutch. And I actually cut it, got some PVC piping and made it work. But uh, yeah, and I got the uh, juice box by Yellow Tech. This is a must have, you know, for your, if you have a, um, a GoPro, you must have one of these. I mean, I can record up to about six or seven hours out in the water. No problem, I can let it go and not have to worry about it anymore. But this is some stuff I made. You don't have to, I mean, they actually have one. I think it's called a power stick. It's like almost, it is a hundred bucks and I just couldn't bear spending a hundred bucks This right here. I think was like 75 bucks, but this was definitely worth it I mean you can charge your phone you can charge uh, Any other I mean tablets, whatever it works great um, this typical uh, fish crate I added the the, the, the combination three uh, Rod holders to it just some screws in here, but it works well Cheap little setup. Add a little light here. As you can see, a little LED light bar. Well, sticker light, what do you want to call it? But um, I can just plug it straight into a small battery if I'm fishing at night and I can see what I have in the back. Come on around. It comes with these railing mounts so you can add multiple accessories like that one on the other side there. Um, I got a paddle, don't really need it, but you, know, you never know. Things do fail on the water, so I got a half a paddle. All right, this seat here, this seat is extremely comfortable. I mean, I, I've had a kayak before and I've sit in it for an hour or two and my back is killing me. This one is extremely comfortable, extremely comfortable. So shout out to Otay, I did a good job on that one. Um, this over here is the throttle control for my uh, motor here as well. And to steer it, you got these two pedals up here, one on each side. You just push them back and forth to go left and right. It controls your rudder here, it sits here in the back. Yep. And on the side, there's a handle to lift that 
you know, when you're coming on and off the water. All right. Up here, you got a nice size hatch. You could put fishing rods in there, but that's just not practical to me. To me, something like wet weather gear will go in there, a rain suit or snacks or something like that. But that's pretty much what I have in there right now. Although if I'm fishing and it starts raining, I really don't too much care. I can get wet, but for those colder days, that definitely will come in handy. All right. Um, one of the cool things about this right here, I haven't got this registered yet, so I'm, I don't, I'm not supposed to have uh, the motor in it. So I got this up here in that paddle, which is no biggie, but that right there is where the motor would sit. And this thing right here would go up under here. It's got a nice little slot there for this fits in there perfectly fine. No problem. And this is the motor. That's what y'all are here for. Y'all are here for to see this motor here. Hold on, let me get this thing set up. Pretty easy setup. You just drop it down in the little slot there. It has a little prop here. Let me actually get a screw it in here. Hold on. So once you get the sides in there, you can just kind of lock them in place. And it has a little two little arms here that'll latch up here and it just sits up there like that once you get to the water you just make sure your prop is turned a certain way prop these little levers down and it'll slide in the water come out the water perfectly props up all right got your plug here it plugs into this little socket here pretty much diamond proof it says top at the top so that means it's going in here with that red portion facing up and that's pretty much it all right and it's powered by a battery the battery sits under the seat right here in this box right now i have a optima blue top heavy i mean this thing is heavy but it's a deep cycle battery so you know allows you to get a lot more use out of it especially when you're constantly draining the battery I'm looking at upgrading to one of those Dakota lithiums, but it was like 500 bucks, so I'm not ready to spend 500 bucks just yet. I reckon I'll run this into the ground. All right, it's got a nice little reset button there. You get weeds caught up in your prop and uh, it trips. You just come here and hit that reset button. This is some sort of cooling fin. I imagine for the battery, I'm not really sure the electronics that are in here. I'm not sure, I haven't really figured that out, but anyway. Here's the actual plug. It's the same like the one in the front. It's one in the, in the back here. Cool little setup. And you know, of course, seat goes back. You need a strap here to strap the seat down and pop to this buckle right here. And you're good to go. And top back up. Coming over here to the Garmin fish finder that I have here. Awesome. I really wanted a good fish finder. Why are we not coming on? Did I unplug it? Oh, I didn't even plug it back up. Would help if you plug the power cords back up. I'll actually show you guys this stuff here. But I have my transducer. They have a slot that sits under the kayak for you to uh, screw your transducer in and the wires can, one wire can come up through here to this hole. I got all the extra cordage going inside here and I have the other end running up here to my fish finder. Kinda of hard doing one hand. This fish finder was kind of expensive. It runs in the price range of about seven to eight hundred dollars. But I really I do a lot of crappie fishing. So I wanted something that could show me the structure on the bottom of the uh, lake or river or whatever. So I have to get a more expensive one. But it'll be well worth it. So coming over here. coming on here 
If you get ready to register, if you ever get one of these, you're going to register. This is going to be the, the uh, serial number that you go off of, the one on the motor here. It was kind of confusing getting a registration and stuff done, but the one that's right here, that's the number, or well, the serial number that you're going to go off of, this XTC 420 number here, okay? It comes with two different ones, but this is the one that you're going to use. Well, that's powering up here. These are the controls for the rudder in the back, left and right. When you go left, of course, press left. When you go right, press right. Pretty simple. Nothing too crazy about that. Let's see here. trying to get it to the demo but anyway these are the different um, setups it also has a um, navigations and everything it came everything comes with it the maps for all of the uh, all of the lakes which is pretty 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 good if you ask me I get on a body of water I, before I even get to it. I can come sit on my kayak and look at areas from which that uh, probably the best place to uh, to start fishing. Being that I have a kayak, it makes it a lot easier for me to just put it in the water anywhere. So this is key, especially uh, big lakes. Like here, I got some waypoints marked on this lake that's near me. And it saves all that stuff. When I find some structure, I go ahead and mark it. As you see, all of these dotted lines on here is just my boat traffic. But this is an area right here. I marked a couple of brush piles. This is why I wanted to opt to get a little bit more expensive boat. So, you know, it doesn't matter when it, when any season or any time of the year, I can come straight to these brush prowls and find fish on them. And I've already got them marked. If the one's not at this one, I can go to another one. It's not a good feature about this fish finder here. All right. Yeah, and of course, you know, the sonar's got traditional and the new clear view. Or you can run the split frequencies. You want to run it at chirp or 200 hertz. You can do that as well. But me, I'm not so much focused on that. This is pretty much, and I also have side view too. Which I don't really use very much. Um, I've been in kayak and I fish kind of slow. So the one that I use the most is going to be the clear view. Like I said, I'll be looking for structure and stuff. Because... Uh, so those crappie like to sit on, especially now that it's a lot warmer. That's the type of stuff. I mean, also too, this thing links up to your cell phone. So if you get a phone call or a text message, it'll go ahead and display right here on the screen for you. Makes fishing pretty much hands-free. All right. And there's other apps on here too. It's just, I'm kind of limited from a kayak. So a lot of it's not going to really apply, but I really bought it for the charting and that clear view. Here's another, another shot of the kayak that I did. I opted to put the grates on the bottom just in case I want to step on the platform. I, I have something solid to stand on. And then it pretty much sits on these wooden bunks that I have here. I know they have the cradles that you can put. I didn't want to do all that. I think once this trailer gets backed in the water, the kayak floats up. You have a rope tied off to it and then you pull it off, tie it off onto the, some dry ground somewhere and you're good to go. But, um, this is pretty stable. That's why I opted to do it. I should say, you know, you can find your cheap trailer on um, Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and, you know, customize it yourself. Yep. It's really simple. I did the welding. Never did any welding before in my life. Went on YouTube, watched a few videos, and came out here and made some fire. <laughs> and it worked out all right. Nothing's fell off yet. First time I did fenders, I just kind of welded them on there, eyeballed it, stuck them on there, and they're not the best looking, but you know, 
it does its purpose it does what it's supposed to do but that's pretty much gonna do it if you have any questions or um any ideas you know just get with me you know i think my number is on my youtube page and you know we could talk about it or whatever also too you know i am that youtuber that does not mind giving up the fishing spot you know i know a lot of youtubers you know they'll catch fish or they won't give you a market at a secret location that's not me if i catch fish i'm willing to share it you know the more to marry all right but um, I have no problem. I had actually had a few people actually hit me up on my uh, page already, and I gave them the exact location and they dropped the pin. And it's like, hey, here you go, man. Good luck. This is what I use, and so on, and so on. So feel free to reach out to me. You know, this fishing is something you should do with friends and stuff like that. So just hit me up. All right. Thanks for coming by the page. Talk to you later. Peace.